You know, the third series, in order to look more cinematic and expensive, the third series of the show uses loads of um, giant cranes, huge, big, scary-looking cranes, big, giant robot arms with the, Hey, Sarah Shea, how are you? <laughs> how are you? Sorry, I didn't see you there. Hello. Anyway, yeah, sorry, cranes, yeah, giant... Uh, uh, and, and so the camera moves in a very inhuman way, you know, and you're still doing exactly the same thing. You're working a scene out, yeah. blocking it, okay, I'll say that and I'll go over there. But then this, this sort of big evil crane comes in, like a sort of a, like the eye of God. <laughs> and it just kind of just floats up next to you. And it made, makes, made me really self-aware. And I had to try to do loads of mental backflips to get over the evil cranes, because we were using them every day. What was it about the evil cranes that scared you? Just that they were automated? They were like... Yeah, I think it's because a lot of the time the camera is... You know, it's either sitting there, which is fine, you can kind of delete it from your view. Yeah. Or it's on an operator, and it's sort of doing that, you know, and kind of... You're doing a bit of a dance together, and that <laughs> feels nice, you know, it feels organic. You know, but then there's this robotic, very inhuman moving evil crane. I think it was the movement. Right, okay. Distrustful Skynet vibes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, War of the Worlds. Yeah, yeah. Distrustful Skynet vibes.